Using explosives and rock drills, the workers excavated the Alpine Tunnel bore. Standard pay was $3.50 per day, or $5.50 per day for those working with explosives. Good wages for that time. Making the work more difficult, most of the tunneling was done in the middle of winter. Many evenings, workers could return to their cabin with their clothes completely frozen through. The first dirt for the tunnel excavation was removed from the East Portal in January of 1880. The project was estimated to take six months. In the spring, it became apparent that this was not going to be achieved when only 150 feet had been completed. It ultimately took a workforce of up to 450 men at a time, over 18 months of digging and blasting to complete the bore. Working from both ends at once, the first engine passed through the tunnel in December of 1881. The turntable was constructed in 1907, shortly after the destruction of the engine house, which contained the original turntable used at the complex. This rotating feature was used rather than the typical Y, a triangular junction of three rail lines to turn an engine around because of the confined space within the Tunnel Gulch Basin. The locomotives were turned 180 degrees solely by manpower on a well-balanced still turntable platform which is now missing. After tunnel construction began, the company engineers found that the material was not solid rock, but was decomposing slide rock. As a result, the inside of the tunnel had to be lined with a permanent wood frame made from rot-resistant redwood timbers brought in by rail from the northwest coast. The timber frame replica you see at the Alpine Station Complex reflects the angled upright posts used in the tunnel, framing to support the weight of the loose rock above it. The initial budget was $120,000, and the final budget was $300,000. They removed 1,800 cubic yards of dirt, they removed 14,700 cubic yards of rock, and they imported 400,000 linear feet of redwood, and then they used 1.5 million linear feet of local wood. P.F. Barr, tunnel construction engineer, overcame extremely difficult conditions to design a timber-framed bore through the Continental Divide. When asked, what if the bores don't meet, Barr answered, that's easy, we will have two tunnels. <laughs> <laughs>